We're working on this to design a virtual client that can be used for training students and, and seasoned clinicians as well. It's really how do they open up that relationship, um, get somebody to be able to come into their office and sit down and feel safe, knowing that the therapist is somebody who really does you know, get the life that they're living and the issues that they're struggling with. The whole process behind this is that we get um, veterans who um, understand the kinds of traumas that uh, returning soldiers uh, have gone through to sit down and role play um, scenarios, specifically the standardized patient we're trying to create. We put out a call to the students um, in the military, sub-concentration, uh, students in the MSW program in general, um, and asked who might be interested in coming to help us develop this. And we've had enough veteran students involved that whenever we do a student dyad role play, the one who plays the veteran has always been a veteran. I'm a uh, service-connected uh, disabled veteran, and, uh, and I had self-disclosed that I was uh, PTSD and, and had a moderate TBI from combat. We're role-playing, which makes it a lot easier for me because uh, I could be somebody else, but at the same time, uh, the experiences that I was able to share were actually uh, true. Yeah, first you're scared, you're intimidated, and then you're, you're worried that you're not going to do your job. You know, I feel like I'm a husband. You want to know why I'm here? I feel like I'm a husband. We then take the dialogue from that and input it directly into our virtual characters. We get seasoned clinicians like Jan in front of the character and vet the answers. This is the dialogue testing tool and this will help us to expand the, the corpus or the, the body of dialogue that's been embedded into the system. I would start up here with the enter question and type in what it is that I want to say. So I might say something like, could you tell me about what brought you here? Do you want to know why I am here? Because I feel like a monster. My task in response to that is to determine what I asked or stated, how that might impact the development of rapport. The therapeutic relationship, um, his confidence and trust in me as a clinician, things like that. So asking what brought you here probably would help to build rapport a little bit. I mean, one question is not going to change things dramatically, but when you have question after question of things that help people to feel understood and cared about and like you're on their side, you want to work with them, ultimately over time those questions, those statements help to develop um, a positive rapport between the individuals. Really, really scary. When the students use the virtual client um, in, you know, in the clinic um, and practice with it, every time they utter a comment or a question, the client will have a reaction and will hear not only the verbal reaction, um, but there will be an emotional reaction connected with it in the way that a regular human being would show. One of the next things that we need to begin mapping out are kind of these uh, a tree of reactions and where emotions would go following different threads of dialogue um, and how one therapist utterance might have six different responses um, but those responses would vary depending on what came prior or what emotional state the clients in at the moment. We record the veteran who is giving all the responses, capture all that body language, and then break down the footage into possible animations, whether it's a fidget like scratching the back of your head, or whether it's a beat like moving uh, moving your hands towards a statement set. That information will get taken and put directly back into the system to create, once again, more believable and more realistic characters using this motion capture information. Knowing how somebody might be likely to react when we say something then allows us to have the virtual client react in that way. This information will be reviewed by other clinicians and ultimately once the virtual client comes, you know, quote, to life, uh, we'll have service members and veterans also watching him saying yeah this he's behaving in in a way that I would consider to be a realistic way and that's what we are working to achieve to make him as realistic a human being as possible.